Welcome to the channel, I'm Jay Malone. Oftentimes, I get the question, how do you know where you can fly your drone legally? Well, I use a drone airspace app called AirMap. Let's take a look. If you're new to the channel and you enjoy photography, drones, technology, and other related things, then start off by hitting that subscribe button. When you do, tap the little bell icon next to it. That way you won't miss anything. I think it's important and responsible to know where you're flying your drone, as well as know whether or not you have authorization to fly there. So I highly recommend you using an app, such as the one I'm fixing to show you. That way it'll just reassure you that you're flying in the right location. The app that I use is called AirMap. Let's take a look at it. Okay, once we're in the app, one of the most important things to do is to figure out uh, how you're flying. Are you flying under part 107 rules as a licensed pilot or are you flying for fun? You'll see here what's your mission. If you'll tap on that, you can change that to fly for fun. So let's say you're not licensed and you tap on the fly for fun. Let's go back to the map. It will show you a list of airports now that you would need to contact if you were within that ring, that five miles from that airport. So you can find your location by tapping on the little magnifying glass and typing in a location, or you can let it find your location on its own, or you can actually just scroll around and let's say we'll find a location right inside this Jonesboro Airport here. Hold your finger down, tap, it locked in a location. We will back out of it so you can see where we're at. And you'll notice the advisories down here. Tap on the advisories and it tells you that this does require FAA and airport notification if you're going to be flying here. So uh, it also gives you a telephone number that you can contact them. And you'll see if we change it from fly for fun to flying under part 107. We still have an advisory there. That is class E2 airspace, which does require FAA authorization. At this point, if you're flying under part 107, you can't just call the airport. You do have to get FAA authorization to fly here. Let's go back to the map. You can see how it has the class E2 airspace outlined here. Let's drag our location outside of that E2 airspace. And you'll notice our advisories turned green. It says no advisories, so if you're flying under part 107, you're good to fly here. Let's see what it looks like if you're flying as a hobbyist. Flying as a hobbyist, you're still clear to fly in this location. So as you can see, this would help you to know whether or not you could legally fly here. But let's take a look at something else. Here we've moved over towards Hot Springs, Arkansas. And if we drag our location within this little red square here, you'll notice that the advisory turned to red and we are in a national park. And as you can see there, Hot Springs National Park is red. You cannot take off or land in a national park anywhere. So yeah, stay away from the national parks. If you change this to part 107, you'll also see that I still cannot fly there even as a licensed pilot. So yeah, that's off limits there. And I think this app is great to be able to show you where those national parks are. And you can see if you're set to fly for fun, you see several airports around that if you're within that five miles vicinity of that airport, then you're required to call if you're flying as a hobbyist. We change it to flying as part 107, you'll realize those go away. So yeah, as a part 107 pilot, you have a little bit more flexibility about flying without contacting those small airports. And that's a quick look at AirMap. And that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it or I hope it was a help to you. If it was, please consider hitting that thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you have an app that you really like to use with your drone, please leave it down in the comments below. I'd like to hear your suggestions. If you wanna see some more of my videos, click over here. And if for some reason you're not already subscribed to this channel, click on my face in the circle subscribe icon right below this video. That'll get you subscribed. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And until next time, God bless.